Okay, there are actually a ton of other features that we'll walk through really quickly. And one of those are these COG patches. So the underscore cog patches have a bunch of, how to describe it, just a bunch of uh, effects and things like that, additional things that you can do. That... Okay, now let's try the ostinatum. And here is just a fairly typical sound for the ostinatum. Okay, now let's actually do something here where you can change the velocity, where you have a on the downbeat there and there, let's hear how that sounds. Actually make that lower as well. And here you can change the key by just drawing up and I believe that corresponds to whatever key you're playing over here. So this is the, the third key and this is the second key. Um, and if you take the chord mode off, so you can have some pretty cool stuff, but it takes a little tweaking to get that right. So now let's check out the, f the FX that are included in this new cog patches. So lots of runs and... Some good, some some dissonant. Very nice. You're using that for sure. So those are just some of the F FX. Here's some more. <laughs> A little bit like salt peanuts. On on some sort of a. Salt peanuts on acid. God, that's great. So that's pretty cool. Uh, now let's check out the brass lows. Same things, it'll have some ostinatums and let's hear some of the sound effects. Gee, these are different performances. Very nice. Moving on to the brass mids. Again, let's just check out the effects. Actually, the, what's cool here is you've got shorts, and this is another type of shorts with mutes. Let's check out this. As I was playing the wrong one. Here we go. But it is interesting. So this is the piano. Interesting. Throwing some velocities there. Okay, let's take the ostinatum off and go to. This is just a different. Short, shorts with mutes, and now here's this one. Okay, now let's check out the sound effects. Excellent. Wonderful. So if you don't want to mess up your House piano with uh, restringing it and doing all the stuff that John Cage would have done. You can just use these and do it for you. It's really soft, but just playing some interesting tones in the low registers for you. Now let's move on down here to strings high and hear what we've got. Again, several different types of shorts and spiccatos and octaves, and here's some long octaves. Oh, I'm, it's the strangest thing. Yeah, that's right. It should be playing, but it's not. Let's try this one. Consoles. Nope. There we go. Is 
sound effects. Right out of Bioshock. Straight out of Bioshock. Gosh, beautiful. All right, that's all you need there for the aleatoric stuff, but there's even more. <laughs> Fascinating. And here's another. Everything you need for the next horror, pretty much any sort of uh, tense scene, you could use those on. Let's try the string lows here. I've got some ostinato set up, and look what you can do now. You can actually do offsets. So you can uh, raise and lower the pitch. If you go to chord mode, it could get really weird. So that's pretty nice. You can again assign different keys to them. Uh, and then different offsets, so. Some sort of chaos scene. You could do some really nice stuff just by holding down the notes. Check out some high woods. Really nice shorts. It's a different type of short. Pretty cool. Some effects. Really nice. There's even more. All kinds of beautiful stuff in this library. I mean, where are you going to get that? I mean, Literally fantastic. Now let's check this out. Uh, the woods low. Same kind of thing. Some effects. Nice. That is pretty awesome. Okay, so those are the cog patches. And that's most of those and different things that we saw there. Um, let me show you these uh, time machine patches. I'm not going to go through them, but basically what they are is they're really big and uh, you can do some squash note stuff. Uh, you can take these short notes and make them even shorter. Here, let's hear that sounds. Here's where you can stretch them. Make them really short or longer. You can add tightness to, uh, it says here, controls uh, how tight uh, the short notes play. So let's, if we bring the stretch all the way up and the tight all the way down, tight all the way up, about as tight as it gets. Let's start. Let's use those features, the Austin Autumns. See how that sounds. Put some velocities in there. Cool. Once again, if this were something that you had to go to a desert island and you only had one set of uh, one library that you could bring, this might be the one that you want to choose. All right. Uh, this has been the overview. Be sure to check out the more in-depth, detailed walkthroughs of each one of these various uh, parts of Albion 1.